those exponentials could be nasty, um, but for this particular problem, if you follow a simple rule, then it should be pretty easy. The simple rule is actually has to deal with the order of operation. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So as you can see, exponential supersedes multiplication. So it's a good thing that you t specifically put a parenthesis outside. Okay, to say that this 4 is for both of the 3 a's. So let's get started. Okay, so you have a 3 to the 4, a to the 4. The reason I'm opening everything up is I can combine it a lot easier. So much like every simplification problem, you have to make it messier before you start. Now, a point of note over here, has this one being a 6a squared, then that's equal to 6 squared a squared. So you basically has to distribute it in there, kind of like a, a person is giving a party or a high five. It has to give high five to six and uh, a. But if a is in the parenthesis by itself, and because exponential supersedes parenthesis, so this chunk stick together and six is outside. Okay, so let's suppose we have six times a squared. And then here, what we have then is three to the fourth, Okay, let's leave all the numbers here. Divided by six, this is all coefficient. And then we have a very convenient um, way to simplify all the a's. So a to the four, if they're multiplying each other, you're gonna add all the exponents. If this one is dividing, I'm gonna subtract two. Okay, now this is the reason why I expand, expanded everything before I try to simplify it, okay. Now, another side note, 2 to the minus 2, a lot of students say, is that equal to minus 4? No, do not do that. Okay, when you have a negative exponents, what you really want to do is go 1 over 2 to the square. So negative means 1 over. 1 over means negative. It goes both ways. Okay, so this one is actually equal to 1 over 4. Does not equal to a negative number. Negative exponents does not equal to negative number. Okay, remember that. So we have a 3 to the 4, 1 over 4, divided by 6, and the a here we have 4 minus 2 minus 2, I have a to the 0. a to the 0, anything to the 0 is actually a 1. Okay, a lot of students say, well, why is that? It's no strange. So if you have x over x, you know this equal to 1. Okay, and it also equal to x to the 1 minus 1 because we're dividing here, right? So 1 is equal to x to the 0. So anything to the 0's power is equal to 1. Okay, coming back over here, we have 3 to the 1st, that's a 81. It's 9 times 9, okay, divided by 24 because 1 over 6 divided by 6. 1 over 4 divided by 6 is 24, okay? So all we have left is to simplify this, and we have a common factor of 3 in there. Uh, this is 27 over 8. And uh, let's see, did I miss anything? Um, if you see this is a cubic, that's great. If you don't see it, it's no big deal. Okay, but this is good enough. All right, have a confident day.